what we do here is go back, 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 back. What's up, guys? Got, gotta get in the frame. Gotta get in the frame. Hold on, hold on. Let me let me switch this up real quick. What's up, guys? Welcome to another quick uh, live stream. And I had this order land on me, and it's 17 shirts on black, um, and they want like a bright green on it. So. We're going to knock that out. Uh, we're going to try to get at least all the fronts done here on live stream. And then uh, we'll see how that turns out. And we'll go from there. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get some shirts, uh, which I have over here. Hey, I come back with shirts. Um, so we're going to try to get these two bags of shirts, all the fronts done. Now it's going to say energy on it and then it has like a design that goes around let me bring up an example um and then we're gonna go from there so hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video we're gonna switch it over to this camera and as we set up shirts i'll show you guys the whole thing just bring up this picture real quick blah 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 So this is from my own pictures, and uh, if we can get the camera to focus, there you go. So you see how it says it's my birthday, but it has that star design on the around the outside. So they want something bright and poppy that's gonna really stick out. Uh, she said it doesn't have to be exactly like that, but you know they want you know that kind of that kind of idea. So. Uh, let's get some shirt boards out and we could probably do them two at a time here what's up RC Boneyard what's up fingerprint customs of Skull Squad yes sir what's up Chris Garcia Rebo que pasa Mufasa um, what's up Stephen Ward oi mate how's it going alright so let me get this here Ooh, look at the angle on this camera today. I could be all the way over here working. Hopefully. Look. Hopefully I won't be too much in the way. Oh, the angles today. Oh, dang, son. Maybe we just we move this over a little bit like this. Since that's where it's going to sit. Right there, perfect. I'll try not to bump the camera. What's up, Victor Brown? How's it going? Still drinking coffee. It's uh, 10 30 in the morning right now. Still drinking coffee. Okay, so we have some big shirts. Okay, so we'll just start with here. We'll try to focus on the front of them today. They are on black, so even though it's just lettering, it's gonna take a little bit of time. Lunchtime in New York. But isn't like a cup of coffee considered lunch 
in New York? <laughs> I'm stupid. I know. I don't know. I don't know why that's really a thing, but it might be. It might be. <laughs> it's 2.30 a.m. there. Dang, son! Big props to Mr. Stephen Ward for tuning in at 2.30 in the morning. What's up, Bartholomew McCaffrey? I actually catch you live instead, watching later. Nice. secret sauce for today's video well as always we have our handy dandy blow dryer which is great for when you're working on black always have your handy dandy blow dryer uh, available but also what I've done so what I've done here see this green how well can that green get picked up so even though this is a fluorescent bottle of green, so what I've done in order to make enough paint here for all these shirts, and I wanted it to be kind of opaque, so it goes on there nice and bright. I There was like a half a bottle of fluorescent green I had going. Um, so then I added uh, limelight green, wicked opaque limelight green, and then I added opaque white. Uh, the original Createx airbrush color is opaque white. Um, to fill it out and then I shook it up really good and we're gonna be using this uh, to spray today so it's a mixture of fluorescent green limelight green and opaque white and hopefully there's enough there's enough opacity there that we could uh, get this green to go on nice and bright. That airbrush that we were having issues with last time, I made sure to clean it out. Back to working, let's go over the air pressure. Oh, and then, uh, boy, I need to load it up into a bottle here. Coffee and a donut for me. I mean, yeah, that, that sounds pretty good. Like, you know, a lot of people think donut. They think like Krispy Kreme donut or something. But you could get a legit donut. And like, it's like, a, you know, I'm not going to say it's like a meal. Because you <laughs> probably ain't supposed to have that all the time. But, you know, 5.30 p.m. in London. Nice, nice. What's up, Cody Adams? All right, so I'm going to load this green up. Start with a nice full bottle, and then all I'm going to do is just take my fluorescent green, the cap off of that because I'm, I'm out of caps. I'm going to use this for now. And hopefully this gives us a nice bright green as we spray. So. Wish me luck, because this is bright green on black is like always the worst. Perfect. So then I got a stencil of a star. Gonna lay that in. Oh yeah, oh yeah, 
So we got those two stars. We'll go ahead and do a nice little halo around it. Just because that's a nice easy way. Decorating. We'll bring in some patterns off the sides here. Now we're gonna go one stroke over each one. And we're gonna give it a minute, see if it darkens down a little bit. Sometimes you see like how as it's drying it maybe gets a little bit lighter. Oh geez. Gotta remember which which angle I'm putting them this at. Okay, so we got this one this way, this one this way, this one this way, this one this way. This one. Mm -hmm. And that's just a quick little way to decorate the back. Why do I look orange or is it just my eyes? I don't know. My skin looks orange on the camera, huh? What I do know is that I need to like maybe move this camera over this way and then like maybe angle it. There you go. That way I'm not getting in the way of the camera. That's a little better. He does look a bit Trumpy. Oh no! <laughs> Okay, and then we'll work in the word energy. Is that a better angle? So the name of the game here is just trying to get it as nice and bright as possible. I think what I want to do is um, maybe lay, lay some fluorescent green on it. So do like a fade from this green to the fluorescent green.
somehow, for some reason on that cam, you look orange. It's like the farther I get, the more orange I get, huh? I don't know. I wonder if it's this light. Hold on, let me see. <clears throat> I wonder if the, that light is just making me orange. Does that change anything? I don't know, you guys let me know. Well, the good thing about this color I mix is it doesn't make me feel like I have to use the blow dryer at all. It's going on pretty bright. So, work the mix. And hopefully it's enough to do all the shirts. If not, I'm going to have to mix more. Okay, so we got that. Let me just outline the lettering real quick. Coated in paint. <laughs> yeah, I probably am. I probably am just coated in paint. Hmm. I'm 
undecided on the green. Undecided on the green. Does it really make that much of a difference? That I should do that on every shirt? I don't know. Let's try some white. pretty good with the white with the pot You must have a huge tank on your compressor. What's up, Thomas Thompson? How's it going? We just gotta repeat that 15 more times. <laughs> that looks pretty good though. For just being some quick lettering design. Energy. Flashy. Got one and the other. Energy! I don't know why the word energy looks weird to me all of a sudden. It looks like I'm misspelling it or something. Oh my god. Oh, my brain sometimes. I need more coffee. All right, only 15 more energies to go. Then tomorrow I get to do the back part. <laughs> Holy shirt. <laughs> Holy shirt, Batman. Now, I honestly think that the word energy would look sicker like in that ripped design, you know, the design that's like always all crazy looking because it's the word energy you know if you're trying to get a point across green energy whatever it is I think it'll look good I think it would have looked good doing it to the other way
side all over. sure I'm 100% correct but we have one going this way one going that way we have these here What's with the energy? Um, so this is for around where I live. There's a uh, a um, what do you call it? A supermarket chain, like a a food store, supermarket food store, whatever. I don't know what you call them in Australia. I don't even know what they call them here, apparently. Um, but it's called King Supers. You can look it up. King Supers. I guess they're having some sort of event, and this is what they wanted. This is what they want for me. This is what I'm painting. As always, I am just a painter. I don't know. I don't know what they want these shirts for. I just know that I gotta paint them. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I don't know what the energy is about. 
I don't know if their employees are just kind of like lethargic and so they're trying to give them something and like hey let's get inspired you know employee events the energy we want you guys to focus on having energy I don't know if they pa partnered up with some power company or something and or what <laughs> like I, I, I have no idea I just know the word energy is cursive font green on black and we here painting we here painting we having a good old time you know any day you painting is good it's good it's good day painting son it's good day painting Later, Bart. Ooh, what is this? Breakfast? I'm not gonna lie, this music today is kind of mellow, but it's also kind of banging.
Okay, this one's this one's a little really mellow. So you say you want to become an airbrush artist, huh? You ready to sit there and paint 17 black shirts? All exactly the same. Like you're some sort of printer? Let me know. Let me know, son. You ready for that life? You ain't about that life. And to keep yourself self-motivated. Last thing anybody wants is like, hey man, did you finish those shirts? Hey man, did you finish those shirts? Hey man, you got those shirts ready for me? You said you'd have them done three days ago. Hey man, you got them shirts ready, man? You gotta be able to stay on your game, stay painting. Nobody's saying you can't have a little breakfast. Can't have a little coffee. Can't play a little music. You gotta stay on top of it. This is when it gets fun. This is when the major pain comes at. If you don't do your push-ups, you won't get nothing to eat. This song is way too Two more. How many minutes are we in? 40 minutes? I'm gonna have to turn up the ventilation in here. Oh, let me let me turn it up just so that this um, overspray gets sucked out just a little quicker. Just a little quicker.
Okay. Hopefully that'll be a little better. Get some circulation going, some ventilation. So it's hard to stay motivated on my vinyl and sublimation shirts. So boring, would rather airbrush. I mean, it can get boring. Even airbrushing, as I'm saying, it can get boring. I love what you do. So I'm in here having a good time. Not everybody understands. Not everybody understands, you gotta love what you do. So even though this is repetitive, tedious work, shit, beats being roofing right now. I 100%. Appreciate um, just being able to paint. Just being able to do something different than something boring. Sometimes you just gotta take the highs with the lows and you gotta mix it all together and get a little bit of that gray. Just bliss. Just life is all right. Just keeping it pushing, keeping it moving. Keeping it pumping. Sometimes you just got to put one foot in front of the other. Just keeping on pushing, keeping on moving. So this is what? Shirt, shirts five and six out of 17. And how many shirts are you gonna do? How many shirts before it's like, oh man, this ain't fun. You gonna be 10 shirts, 15 shirts, a hundred shirts. Can you just paint every day and just be happy? So I definitely every day that I wake up, I have something to paint. I'm just like, yeah, today's not so bad. Not so bad. As long as there's something to do. Ten large Star Wars figures to paint. Yeah, like the whole, the, like the whole body. That's cool. Or is it just like the same one? Like, do you have ten R two D twos? It's still pretty cool. <laughs>
Ooh, Jess, just to be talking smack, she said if they can't handle this many, they definitely can't handle the market. Granted, this is on black, and I'm kind of taking my time. Um, but if you definitely, if you're out of market on white shirts, you gotta be even. You gotta be fast. You gotta be fast. Just knows. Just has seen me go through through stuff. <laughs> All different figures. They are garden ornaments. That's cool. About one and a half feet tall. That's cool. Paul Tarchala with the $10. Yes, sir. What's up, man? Thank you, thank you, sir. Much appreciated. Jar Jar Binks, such a controversial character. Either you love him or you hate him, apparently. What's up, Jason?
What's up, Byron? Not finished yet. Nice. I'll go and check it out later. Six down, 11 more to go. Why do I feel like those went by a little faster? Is it just me or did they go by a little faster? Now that we have the design down, it starts going by a little quick. A little quick. Keep it a pump and keep it a moving. Just move. Just keep, just keep going. Just do what you know how to do. Took these out. Push them out. Make them look good. Make them come back and say, uh. Make them come back and say, uh. I want some of that, uh. The last pair took 14 minutes. All right. All right, Thomas is timing. I got to go fast now. Sit, boom. I'm going to actually try to stay on task for these two. Not get distracted. I believe I was having a burrito during the last one. Confused there for a second, push through, figured it out. Bam. Well, this one's getting them. Fuck it, that one's getting them. I purposely don't. I don't do those side ones <clears throat> because they usually don't. Like they wrap around your body right here, and they look kind of funky. So I don't usually do them on the side.
And this is why black shirts are hated. If I ever shot is charged twice as much to paint on a black shirt. Black shirts really sick. And I even mix custom with fake color photos. It didn't even work. It's just slightly a little bit better. Man. Cheers, mate. Music died, but I don't want to stop because it's going to mess up my time if I stop and try to fix the music. I'm almost done, so it's like, just let me, 
Let me finish this. I'll put some jams on. Some Jiminy Jams. Jiminy Jams. I'm finished. Energy, son. Energy. There you go. Okay, now let me see. Uh, okay, we can this. God, why can't I get it? There you go. Just let me put it back. I was there. It is. Now this song's too much. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Let's load up some more shirts. How long was that? Ten minutes. Not bad. Not bad, I guess. Full design. Full lettering, like design, you know. On black, five minutes per shirt. It's not bad. Not good either. It's just I. It's I. I'm getting old, man. I'm getting old. <laughs> you know, we're gonna slow down. You know, just a little bit. The boys, getting that age. No, sir. Sometimes I wish I wish I could be younger. And at the end of the day, we just gonna sit here, pain away. Go squad, you feel me out there? Say we gon' paint away. Go squad, sound out. Give me some more volume. Give me some more volume on that. I says, go squad. We gon' paint away. Yeah, let me hear you. That's okay. Let's go, squad. We gon' paint away. Ah. Damn. 
Thank you, Colorado! You too, family! Skull Squad! Bean away! <laughs> boy got them chops, boy! Boy got them chops! Because I listen to hip hop all day, I ain't got them chops, boy. Put a guitar out. Listen to me, them chops, boy. Ah, you ain't ready for them chops. One, two, three. Yeah, we chopping. Let's go, squat. Chop, chop, chop. Every day I chop, by chop I mean I'ma paint away on some shirts Yeah, chop Every day I chop Now if I didn't chop today I'd have to chop tomorrow Cause I already got paid And I ain't back on no deal So we gon' get paid And I'ma chop away yeah, child. <laughs> Bring it down with it. Bring it down on the guitar. Skull Squad, give it up a Willie. Let him. Let him rip, really. Let him rip. Don't, don't hesitate. Come on. There it is. They got us in the word and a chain. So that's what we gonna do today. We gonna get pumped. We gonna get pumped. Like I just had some coffee. Oh, don't you play with me. Thomas Thompson said, Seven bucks a minute, more than eight minutes. How I get them chops today? Ah! Uh. <laughs> What's up, Byron? Thank you for hanging out, man. We're all having a good, good time. I'm just trying to stay entertained while I paint these shirts. You know, honestly, if I was better at, at like rapping or something, I, I'd do that, but boy's not that good at rhyming. <laughs> Coffee mic versus C4 mic. Well, well, to be fair, I worked out this morning for an hour. Then I had a protein shake. Then I, I had at that time I had already had a coffee. So then I worked out on coffee. Then I had a protein shake. Then I was drinking another cup of coffee. And this is like a this is like a big cup, right? It looks little. This is like a huge cup. Like look at my hand compared to this cup. This is a huge cup. So I had that. She brought me the burrito. So, as these shirts say, I got that energy.
And don't feel bad for Jess. She loves this sultry voice. She loves it when I be like, come here, baby. Come here, let me play with your hair. You hear this beat? I put this beat on just for you, baby. Come here. Now, don't play. Don't be shy. I just want to whisper in your ear. Come here. I know we ain't spoke in a while. We may be every day together and we smile. But baby, you should know every day I love you more and more. And that's just what I had to say. Love you, baby. Every day. Let him have that beat, Willie. Let him feel it. Get in there, Gilly. Put that guitar. I want all y'all, Skull Squad, give it up for Jess, my beautiful wife. She helps make it all possible every day. If there's not something I just gotta say. Not gonna lie, I wish <laughs> I wish I could play the 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 airbrush like an instrument because I'd totally be down. I'd be over here just going with the music, painting with the music. Awesome. He said, I don't know what he's on, but I'll have two things. said, how many of these are you making? Uh, so it's 17 total. And this is just the front. I got, a, I got the fun project later on of doing the back all by myself. What's up, Michael McClung? How's it going? Alright, alright, enough, enough of the sentimental guitar. Hey, yo, Willie. Yo, cut that out, Willie. Come on, let, let's get some. Let's get some up here that's gonna really rile them up. Come on.
I want to introduce you guys. We got Mr. Billy Thompson on the guitar, on the piano today. My apologies, he's on the piano, on that keyboard, playing the magical sound effects, playing right through your ear. You know you love it. This guy's wild. Look at him, look at him go. Oh yeah, feel his energy, feel it. This guy's trying to steal my spotlight. Hey! Will, get back out here on the guitar, Will. There you are. I bet that black light would make them pop. All right, so pause one moment. Pause. Somebody has brought up a good thing on the chat. Uh, so Byron says the black light. So let me show you. Let me show you some. So this is with the black light. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, no. Oh, there it goes. So, let me turn off the light real quick. Let's turn off this light. Black light. And that's just with the black light flashlight. So yeah, do you think they got enough energy, son? Energy. Energy party! Energy party! Yeah! I like how you can't really see the light anywhere else. Like, if I shine it on this painting, it does absolutely nothing. <laughs> Looks cool on this bottle. Turn the lights back on.
Okay. So done. Let's move on to the next. Okay, how many we got left? How many are we done? So we've done 10. Seven left. We've been going for an hour and a half. All right, Michael McClung, we'll see you later. This music's heavily inconsistent. Some songs are pretty mellow and chill. And then you got like, this song's like, I'm gonna get you. We was rocking for a minute, man.
come on. Just get it out of there. Tapping out later. Have a good night, Steve Award. What time is it now? Like, we get three in the morning, four in the morning? Oh, come on, that can't be it. Oh, come on. Get out of here. Oh, come on, get out of there. There we go. It says, just ordered some stencils and an airbrush holder, bro. I'll be sitting by my door waiting. Nice, nice, nice. Thank you for that. Shirts in. Coffee's on and wear out, son. 
Confistana, where are up? The energy is not there. I think it's time to change up the music. Keeping it pumping, keeping it moving, keeping it pushing, trying to focus through. Don't worry about it not being as, as energized. You gotta keep it pumping. You gotta keep it moving, keep it pushing. Keep your energy up, keep your arms up. Move, bop, weave, bop, weave, move, bop, weave. Keep the energy up. You good, you good. You just gotta outlast it. Keep the energy up. All right, I tried that music, not impressed. <laughs> Mark Nagel, uh, got my t-shirt last week, good quality, cheers. Nice, nice, thank you, sir your order I hope the shirt lasts let me know any feedback you have for sure
trying to, I'm trying to keep myself pumped. I'm probably gonna have a big old nap after this. <laughs> How many more is that? Five more? We're so close to the finish line. So close to the finish line. Gotta keep pumping, keeping it moving. Gotta be ready for that order that's gonna hit. It's gonna be like bam, bam, non stop. This is practice. Practice for the market. You gotta make sure you can just keep pushing. Just keep moving. That stack of orders is not getting any smaller because you're doing so good. People are watching you paint so much. And they're just like, dang, I want one. So then another order comes in while you're painting that order. Then another person walks up. Then you got another order on top of that order. Before you know it, you're stacked up. And you're like, dang, I never thought I'd get this busy. That's how it goes. And at the same time, there might be that time where you're just painting a shirt and nobody notices. Nobody cares. Mind that no business. <laughs> Sometimes it just happens that way. But those times when you're shining, you gotta take it. You gotta roll with it. Do what you can. Just, just do it.
yeah it's a grocery store chain like I explained earlier and this is what they requested it's some kind of uh, event they're having for their grocery store I couldn't tell you what I don't know Three more to go after this. I'm so pumped. Then I could get on that order that. Who was the place that order? Traveress. So I have been trying to get a. Uh, few more stencil designs together I have a t-shirt design kind of in the works another one um, yeah we're just gonna keep pushing keeping it moving we appreciate all your guys support all the orders through the website you guys are amazing um, and like I said hopefully throughout the next year to two years we could uh, turn it into a real marketplace for you guys and really bring you guys some nice products not just Mike's brush products obviously that's going to be the foundation and um, hopefully from there we can expand really bring you guys some cool stuff I don't want to promise anything just yet because who knows what the future will bring but for sure I want to bring you guys some, bring you guys that nice, the nice products, good customer service. And, and a knowledge database on top of all that. So when you order a product, I want to make it easy for you to find the information about that product, how to use it what you can expect as well as have all the video resources so you know where to find videos exercises practice lessons whatever it is you need I'm right there all on one site um, yeah and hopefully over the next two years it's slowly transforming the website started off as kind of just a, a like a secondary place for me to try to sell stuff um, more to like actual airbrush customers not my YouTube viewers but you guys have made it a point you guys like the airbrush stencils you guys want to see more stuff um, we have tried to promote other airbrush retailers here and it's kind of a mixed bag you know all I know is I hate I hate recommending somebody and then dealing with the blowback of it Right, so it's out of my control. So if you come yelling at me over something I recommended you 
and then I can't get you the support that you're supposed to be getting. It's it's frustrating. So it'd be nice for me to be able to have that under my control and and you know make sure that everything is taken care of top notch. Anybody that's ordered off the site or anything like that knows I'll go above and beyond to make sure that you're happy. Like as long as there's actually a problem, right? Don't just start complaining about stuff thinking that you're gonna get some because that's not how that works. But if there's that actually a legit problem with your order or something like that, I'll always make it right. And I have no issue with that. If your order gets lost, I'll send you out another one. I've sent out like <laughs> I know there's like at least 20, 30, 40 people, I don't even know, that during COVID, so many orders, so many stencils, uh, if they were just taking forever to like actually get to where they're going. Um, I don't know what was going on. The post office, I know they were like on limited um, staff and stuff like that, uh, which was making the orders like just take forever to get to their destination. So people were calling me like, hey, I placed an order two weeks ago, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, yeah, I sent it out. You know, I'll send you out another one. And I'll write, and I send it another one. Then a couple days later, hey, my stencil arrived. Thanks for sending out another one. And I'm like, yo, I just barely put this one in the mail. You're probably going to get another one in a few days. Don't worry about it. You know, just enjoy them both. And that happened. Like, that was just the whole thing during COVID. But, um, yeah. That and having all the resources, like all the videos, everything like that. Hopefully we can collab with some other artists to be able to feature their content on the site. Um, along with any videos they may have that correlate along to our stencils so that you can see them used not just from me, right? Because obviously I'm the guy selling them. So I'm obviously going to be like, they're great. They're great, right? But you want to hear it from somebody else. Somebody that's not not me. Somebody that knows what they're doing. They're going to be like, yeah, these are okay or not okay. You know, whatever it is. I've seen a lot of people use them for a lot of stuff already, which is really cool. Racing helmets, hot rods little race car things so it's been awesome to see all your guys' work that you guys have been using or making using the stencils printed Mike's brush figure or 3D airbrush statue would be sick. That would take a lot though, I bet. Huh. Yeah, I don't know. So the goal, like, we have the 3D printed accessories at the moment. The goal would be in the future is to switch these off of a 3D printed process um, to some other process um, that might be a little bit more efficient. I also want to make them kind of flexible because right now um, like the 3d print material it has a little bit of flex right so it's not gonna break right away but like you can snap it if you're not careful with it you can like if you you know if you put some force on it and stuff and I want to make them more like bendy like a flexible material so in the future hopefully we could uh, switch those off to a different process and that way you'll have something that you can put on your airbrush it's not going to damage your airbrush or anything like that and it'll also fit on there a little bit more snug i think if it's like squishy you know so and we're progressing little by little you know i'm not like i said i ain't got none of that old money but we trying to make some of that new money though
Alright, alright. Alright, alright. Music. Music, no. You're gonna put me to sleep, music. Oh, man. I'm having a hard time staying energized now. I think that, that food is actually starting to kick in. Like some neighborhood cat killer or something. That's what she's thinking. She said she's heard stuff like there's a dog fighting ring. You know they're gonna have them kill cats or whatever to get them ready to fight. That's messed up. That's jacked up. There's one more after this, then I can celebrate. It's a celebration! What time does the mailman usually come? I don't know, like 12 or something? Mm -hmm. Usually comes right after you come for lunch. Like right after. Clothes? Yeah. Or your sheen? Yeah. So make the clothes better because you have to wait for it so long or what? No. They're just cheap. <laughs> They're cheap and look good. Gosh, some Skull Squad rings, huh? Huh.
Some Skull Squad hats. Now, Skull Squad hats we could probably make happen. So how many of you out there ready to put in that two hour session? On what is essentially lettering, just the word energy over and over. Do you think you have what it takes? You do not know my pain. You are yet too young to know the struggle. Fighting for what you believe in. Keeping it alive. Like everybody says. Oh, airbrushing is dead. Oh, airbrushing is dead. I hardly see nobody. Nobody airbrushes no more. It's dead. You keep it alive. You stay along the path. Remember everything I told you. Never forget. You have the power. You have the power to change it. You can bring it back. You can make it alive again. You must grow the roots. Always remember to water the roots. <coughs> <coughs> I am getting old. You hear me in my voice. 
boy saying, <laughs> never forget. <sighs> Master, no! What will I do without you? Hats are a good idea, we'll see. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we'll have to see. Oh, one last shirt. Breathing in all that paint in the air. There is no paint in the air. The circuit. Like, how many times have I gone over this array? We have fan blowing in right behind this. Like, you see that? That material right there? That's the extractor pulling the air out. Literally, any paint that, like, oversprays or something, it's just getting sucked right back in there. Very first thing at the start of this stream that I did was turn on the, the ventilation. I know you weren't here for that, but we've gone over this lots of times already. Now, if you're not spraying in a well ventilated area, you definitely wear yourself a mask. Like the whole time I was painting that Mario room, uh, last week, I was definitely wearing a mask the whole time for that because I'm just inside a, a room with a closed door and a tiny little window to the outside. There wasn't even like a ceiling fan, so there was no air moving. That was the worst. And I definitely wore my mask for that whole entire time because that was bad. This one here, it's like I'm in my shop. It's all getting sucked away. It's nice. What's up, Thomas Thompson? With the $20. Thank you very much, sir. You wanted to see me struggle to the end. I know you did. So yeah, anytime you see me painting up on this um, this rack right here, you know it goes goes that way. Oh my cough sounded gnarly. Uh, 
That's just how I call. And it was it was more from doing that voice. So I was trying to Yeah, no. Not singing earlier and everything, my my throat right now is like feels itchy. Last but not least, energy! All the energy! Then you gotta get a picture for the gram, you know, you gotta, you gotta do it for the gram. Good. Alrighty, and that's it for me today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. Helps you out in some kind of way, um, and you'll know kind of what you need to expect or know or whatever it is that you think 
um, comes with being an airbrush t-shirt airbrush artist just know sometimes you will get orders like this and look I almost forgot Bam, my highlights. So, you know, sometimes you're gonna get orders that are just cool, you know, whatever. Uh, but a lot of times when you're doing airbrush shirts, you're gonna get a lot of lettering. Um, a lot of, I know a lot of artists shy away from black, but um, you know, you wanna get paid, you wanna make that green energy, you gotta do the work, put the time in um, and you get paid, so. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. I know it's not super interesting, but I know a lot of people are just like, how do you do it? As you just do it. You just gotta put your foot down and say, I'm gonna work, and you work. You know what I'm saying? You get that, that work done. So I'm gonna come back probably later today or tomorrow and we'll get the backsides done. I'll do that on my own time. I won't bore you guys with that. Um, big shout out to all the Skull Squad members in the chat today. Uh, we had Thomas Thompson drop in the the $20 donation. We had Paul Tarchala drop in the $10. We had Stephen Ward. We had Trevor S. drop in. Uh, who else here? Uh, Thomas Thompson, I already said. RC Boneyard, we had in here. Mm, trying to go all the way up here. Uh, Cody Adams also dropped in. And Fingerprint Customs was also in the house. So thank you all the Skull Squad members for dropping in today. Um, as always, thank you guys for watching. Consider joining the Skull Squad down below. Hit that like button if you like this video. Subscribe if you want to see more. Um, consider ordering something off the website, mikesbrush.com. Um, it all helps to bring you more videos um, kind of like this. Uh, just more instructional videos, more airbrush videos. If you like the videos, go and check out the site. I'm going to go ahead and go ahead of a break, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Later, later, everybody.